100,000 of you watching my videos. I still cannot believe we have reached the 100,000 mark. I want to thank you all so much for your support, for watching my videos, for your comments, your messages. I, I don't even really have words that I can fully express my gratitude for being part of this community. For years, I have loved following pageants, watching pageants, competing in pageants, and the community is pretty small here in Canada as I have shared in some of my videos. So I'm so passionate about this world. I'm so passionate about sharing and highlighting some of the amazing women in the pageant community. And I have found now 100,000 of you on YouTube who are just as interested, just as passionate as me. I took a look back through my videos on my channel since I really got started with the pageant videos and I found that I did a few like random pageant videos in t early 2018 and then nearing the end of 2018 the video that changed everything on here was my Miss Universe pre-arrival predictions video. That video I just looked and it had 335,000 views and the video before it was like a makeup kind of tutorial and it has 992 views. <laughs> So I just think it's so funny because I went from putting out content that I loved and that I, I enjoyed creating But I didn't think that people were as interested about my opinions in the pageant world as they were So I put out that pre-arrival pre predictions Knowing that people suggested the video and knowing that some people would be interested But I did not think it was going to have as much interest as it did and now here we are a year and a bit later with 100,000 people enjoying these videos so I don't know if you guys know this but all my videos before were filmed on my phone on this iPhone <laughs> they were all filmed on my phone up until like August 2019 so really not that long ago and I got the Canon G7X camera, that's what I film everything on. That's actually what I take a lot of my pictures on for Instagram as well. And the video quality I find to be a lot better. I don't know if you guys notice much of a difference, but when it comes to editing and seeing the videos on my computer, the quality is definitely a lot better on the camera. And a few other things that have changed is just me not being afraid to share my opinion, share my thoughts. I know before I felt like I was a bit more reserved and now I know I'm every single day I am coming to accept more and more that people are going to disagree with me people are going to try to like go beyond disagreeing with me but actually try to like bring me down in whatever way possible they'll try to like pick apart the things I say they'll try to take what I say the wrong way and turn it into something completely different than what it was and I have to learn and I'm still I'm learning every single day I'm learning to accept that and I'm also learning to embrace the kindness embrace the support because I think there's moments where I think like I don't deserve this. I don't deserve all of you to be loving and commenting on my videos. So in saying that, I wanted to highlight a couple of the comments that were on one of my recent posts. Like I don't actually know what you call these, but I posted a picture of Lily and I, which was a screenshot from my last video that I shared with you all. And I saw a few of the comments and I wanted to share them. One is from Cesar Valmonchina, and he said, I've been checking since last night when you hit 100K heart the emoji with the hard eyes, congrats. Mark Jason Lorente said, what a milestone indeed. Keep on going and making all these pageant videos. I see Rio Sumiro, she said, congratulations, Sierra. I've been following you since you were pregnant with Lily. Thank you for all the great videos and your professional insight and thanks for including your family, especially adorable Lily in your videos. She's my favorite baby ever. I wish you and your channel more success. And then Wallace said, Wallace per Perge, Perge said, congratulations for the 100K subscribers, Sierra. I've been subscribed to you since 27, 2018. Love to see the journey of your channel. Silver play button is on the way. Love you from the Philippines and then Rena Hendricks, sorry Rio might be, I don't know if Rio's, I said she, I think it's, I don't know, no, I don't know. Rena Hendricks said, been here since 7k in October 2018, love you and thank you for doing this despite some of the horrible things people will say to you sometimes with heart emojis. So thank you all so so much. As you know, I would still put out videos even if there wasn't a hundred thousand people who are subscribed and you know thousands watching, but it does 
help knowing that people actually care people resonate with what i'm saying people are interested in what i'm saying and i always tell you that i make videos based on your suggestions based on what you want to see what you want to hear and there's just there's always so many videos i could make but i really try to be selective in what i share and if you're actually going to enjoy them and be interested and watch them because i know i click on certain videos because i'm actually interested in in them so as always keep your suggestions coming I do have so many I want to make and it just it's just a process it takes time to like research make sure that I can put the content together make sure I feel like I know what I'm talking about and in saying that I've gotten a lot of requests mostly via Instagram to talk about the fact that the Miss Columbia 2020 will not be representing Columbia at Miss Universe this year. There's been a whole ordeal happening. As many of you know, the Miss Universe Columbia organization is new. They took over the organization from a different organization. That's a lot of saying organization. It is now being reported that Miss the Miss Columbia who won will not be going to Miss International. She will not be going to Miss Universe. So this is a very interesting video topic, but I don't feel like I know enough in this moment to talk about it. And I don't want to say things that are in correct that are not right that are invalid etc and i don't want people to believe something because i said it when i might not have said the right thing so something like that that kind of video would be really interesting for me to watch if i saw it on someone else's channel i know a lot of you would be interested as well but i don't want to make it right now because i don't know enough so that's something that i want to let you guys know too that sometimes i might not make a video on something at least right away because I don't feel like I know enough and I don't want to like misinform people, etc. In saying that as well, I feel like there's all this information. In one of my latest videos talking about Catriona Gray's performance at Miss World, I'm still seeing comments of people saying that there was a Filipino judge when Miss Uni Miss when Catriona won Miss Universe. Basically, like, why didn't you address that? And I did not say in that video, if you listen to the words that I said, I did not say that I thought Puerto Rico won because there was a Puerto Rican judge. I said I read an article where people were upset because there was a Puerto Rican judge who I think was the national director or was a former national director of Miss Puerto Rico so they felt like that person had more sway and the fact that Miss Puerto Rico ended up winning anyways people were putting words in my mouth that I didn't actually say and so I know sometimes people will take things the way that they want to hear them or they will hear me say something but not like hear everything that I say and then they'll start commenting and typing before they actually like really listen to everything Thing and really understood what I was saying what I was trying to say and so on they're quick to attack I've noticed that as well on Instagram lately with everything happening people will come at me and attack me for something I say and it's just what they're trying to say is not even close to what I said if that makes sense so anyways YouTube can be a very interesting place but I do want to highlight all of you and just say thank you so much because overwhelmingly overwhelmingly people are positive and amazing and it really keeps me going it really keeps me sharing these videos because the fact that you all love them so much and are so interested and want to hear my opinions and you share your opinions as well that's what keeps me excited to keep posting keep me trying to make things better make my editing a little bit better a little bit quicker and my videos shorter and more concise and condensed all of that stuff I'm always trying to get better in different ways so and I know some of you are noticing so thank you again so much I you know, I wanted this to be a few minutes and now it's it's a lot longer than I expected. So my ultimate message here is thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for being here for all of you who've been here since the very beginning and for those who are new, welcome. And yes, I will do an unboxing whenever I get that silver play button from YouTube. I have no idea, like, do they just mail it to me? Do they like tell me it's coming? I haven't heard anything yet. I don't know, but I will definitely keep you guys in the loop of what's happening with that.